So our primary objective in, in long-term research of humpback whales here in Niue is really that we've used, until now, very benign research techniques. We're focusing on photography, photographing the underside of the whale's tail. So when the whale lifts its tail fluke up out of the water, the underside of the tail uh, is utterly unique. It's like a fingerprint and it allows us to, uh, to catalogue the individual animals and then to track their movements across their range in the Pacific Islands. And that of course is very low in cost, um, both in terms of ethics and, and stress on the animals and it's low in cost in terms of financial um, to, to the NGOs involved. So we focus on photography, um, acoustics, we record the whales' uh, songs and sounds and uh, we're able to use those to look at cultural change and transmission across the Pacific Islands um, in the Oceania humpback whale population. If you think about it, a whale's only at the surface for a very small percentage of its time, uh, but there's a lot going on underwater uh, in terms of its relationships with other animals, its relationship with the ecosystem around it, the, the benthic environment, and what's going on in the water column. To understand that, uh, one of the uh, pieces of technology that I've brought uh, to help this whole spatial planning process out is uh, something called a, a movement tag or a kinematic tag. We put the suction cups on the whale and um, the animal, uh, the tag stays on the animal for anywhere from five minutes to, to a day to 24 hours. And it records the animal's pitch, uh, how far the animal's going up or down, uh, the roll, so it's side to side movements, uh, as well as everything the animal hears and everything the animal, all the animal, all the sounds the animal makes. And then we can take all that data and visualize it to get a, a three dimensional view of a day in the life of a humpback whale. So are there areas where they are resting? Are there areas where they're active socially? Uh, are they, how are they communicating? How are they impacted by other sounds underwater? All that information we can get out of these motion recording tags. It's a very data intensive tag. So the other piece of information that we need to know is uh, where, where animals go. And one of the ways to deal with that is uh, with satellite tags. Uh, satellite tags give us an idea of how to overcome observation bias uh, and help us overcome where uh, humpback whales go uh, even though we may not be there to see them. So if you think about it, we have two kinds of tags. One to tell us where the animal goes, and one to tell us where the, what the animal does. Um, and together, you can help inform an accurate marine spatial plan that adequately protects megafauna like humpback whales. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please tell me you got that. Oh my god.